leave it. I just woke up and it just had, actually I woke up like 10 minutes ago and I just had 10 minutes to pray and yeah, I have a headache. Yesterday I was playing Ragnarok with two of my brothers for the first time for a long time. Since a long time. And I knew I would screw my sleep with that. And I'm paying it now. I have a headache. And I had to wake up and pray in 10 minutes. And now I need to sleep 4 hours. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. So, uh, hey, mute, mute, mute. And now, oh, mute. Uh, I don't even know. Jesus. So, I need to find a different tag. Yesterday, it was my off, and for some reason, I started working. And I worked on making a donation button, just because. I worked on, actually, I was going to test it too. I was working on to see what the heck is this. I made my. It's not like the most guy shot is me, of course, it is. Um, giving a credit to the guy who made my image. Actually, he made it for something else, but I'm using it, screw that. Adding my channels. And uh, made a blog about my 2020 update or whatever it's called. Uh, here <coughs> damn I'm just talking well I'm just talking I am I didn't script anything maybe just I need to wake up that's the first point and uh, well, if, mm, in summaries what I was doing the last few months and my new art to start if my game art is all look like this, I will sell it like fresh butter or whatever. I will be able to sell it. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, so let's close this. Uh, we have the studio, we have set big step, and we have uh, where was the last thing I done? Oh, great. Uh, the last thing I done was uh, making the tags uh, standardized to work as an, uh, one unit, work in the same way, so I can adjust stuff. Um, and I'm afraid it will require a lot of testing. Yeah, last time I run the program and it crashed. And I said I will fix it behind the camera. Oops. Uh, well, apparently I will have to fix it somehow. Did I start recording? Oh, God. I didn't record, did I? Yep. Um, maybe I should make some coffee and then start recording when I start coding. I don't know. As I said, I woke up. And I was like, you need to, to stream now. Just, I didn't have any moment to prepare, so. It's funny because this is kind of my third stream, but it should be my first official stream. And this expressed exactly how I work, I guess. Always in a sluggish mode. So, what we're going to do, we're going to turn into downtime after four minutes of stream. Going to heat some water and be right back. <coughs> oh, I need to use the microphone too.
and I forgot to mute again. The water will take forever to heat, so I'm just going to start. And uh, when well, you know, we um, run the code and it immediately crashed. So um, yesterday, yesterday, two days ago, I made major updates to uh, how to handle initializing the scripts for all the classes. And uh, this is expected, even though I made it standardized, there is a uh, hard... Um, I don't have scripts for all the classes in here, but hopefully, hopefully when I finish um, doing the project game test 3, I will be able to add scripts and test each one of them. That's the whole point, it's the game test project. So um, let's start the timer. I know I will go and run and run 10 steps to get my water after it boiled. So what's going on? So if I um, click run, it will uh, try to initialize everything and find function It go to the function pool, the shared function pool and try to pick the one with the keyword. It's searching the keyword and it should find it. So for example, this one will add effects. This one will delete effects on the screen. This one add segment timer, oh boy. This one add covers, so uh, yeah, these things. And uh, the tag has been sent and the tag is walker. Walker is not the keyword. Walker is the first word of the uh, parameters. In other words, we have skipped the, the keyword twice. So, uh, how did that happen? We need to check how to do that. And that's why I need to make the code, uh, the, the guys who deal with the scripts, standard. So, uh, stupid things like these doesn't happen. So in the initialize uh, phrase, I need to do something with my voice, I'm still sleepy. Um, the initialize file, that's mean the tag should be already memorized the whole thing. Yep. So at least this step is correct. It memorize the thing is without the uh, trigger. How did they get fired? Load map scope and activate G one two two and place your C walker. So why did we lose the place you see? That's the question. Because I did pass it. So I'm going to bring the the, the boiler. No, I'm not going to press downtime again. Unless if you want to do a short dance, then do it in your own free time. <clears throat> I should say something on Twitter like I'm streaming my work Come and watch me But to be honest I'm not confident yet I need to be more comfortable with Twitch first And I didn't get any time to prepare in the first place so whatever Oh uh, yeah I it should be part of the announcements for the blog, and I made the blog, but I didn't announce it, did I? Oops. And I spilled some coffee already. Damn. Wake up, dang it. Wake up. So, let's remove this word pass and see how hell lose. Crash. 
So it sent the whole code, it doesn't send the parameters. Oh god. We just removed the word pass. Um, second the problem is not in the uh, in the standardized <coughs> steps the problem is seems inside the code isn't it inside the script itself no I mean that's the only way I can see it so let's take a uh, th this guy is a shared function no this guy the shared campaign tag okay Then the activate is different. No, both of them live in the same place. Wait, 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 wait. How the hell the what, what's wrong? I mean, uh, I I cannot even can figure out what the hell happened. I mean, uh, these guys I defined in here. This is the definition, right? I take the campaign and I take the the scripts that sent with it, which hold the whole script, right? Right. Are you telling me I need to skip the first keyword for everything? No, because the, the guy who invoked him should skip the keyword, but for some reason it crashed when I did. So, uh... Here, the share function is upset. Because share function is what is saved. Is it? Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Mm. Here. I believe I screwed up everything.
I believe I screwed up everything. Let's go back to drawing board. At least I need to solve these two issues. Um, and I need to focus only on these two issues. Oh god, these are not the things, the things I'm looking at here. So, um... Because my mind cannot connect ideas because I still oh a sleepy head. I'm just going to like think like a combiner. Actually city you this what is So we need the full scripts because we need to find the um, function in here. So we need the full script. But when the full script is replaced with the action, we um, And that's why before, when I was working in here, it memorized the whole script if it is not in the share function, and it does if it is. That's the reason. That's the reason. So, um, we need to find, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My logic was broken two days ago when I worked on this. I thought I found the standard way to do the scripts and I thought it worked. I even tested on the creatures and it seems it worked, but the thing is I didn't use the shared function when I made that test and uh, now I'm paying it. Now I'm paying the price. We need to um, consider this issue and see how can we solve it. After we solve it, we need to apply it to the rest of the things. The thing is, all of 
both of them can use share function so uh, uh, the solution must be um, I shouldn't solve the other two or the other unique functions no I need to fix this one exactly I shouldn't go around it so um, let's take uh, the campaign as an example again and uh, the campaign for example we have um, well, we have three guys here we have um, unique scripts and we have the condition in one line damn it so this one is the keyword and this one is the parameters So let's take a look. So uh, if it is a condition, we do this. This will look like, the thing is I didn't test it yet because I don't have even a single one that deal with conditions. Oh God, I was looking in the wrong file again. Um, where, where is the code for the campaign? Let's go back for it first. Find them here. Wait, didn't you say you will change this? Mm. I thought I was going to change this and make it use unique scripts as well.
No, wait. No, no, that's what's going on. It will uh, call this function, and this function will call this function. That's what happened when you code without test. You get screwed for real. Oh, are you telling me this one is a unique? No, it is the same function. What the hell is this? Yeah. Great, great, great. I'm totally confused. Maybe I shouldn't focus on this. I should focus on the if. Not the if, I mean the uh, shared functions. That's. The shittiest stream of coding ever. But actually, uh, whenever I deal with turkey codes, I go back and forth like an idiot like this. Sometimes I spend like five, six hours going nowhere fast. If that's even makes sense. It should be simple. It should be simple, but it's not. <coughs> Can I get rid of this? I wonder. Actually, I could. Actually, I could. What am I sending? Walker, why am I sending Walker? Because I have the whole T, right? You have the whole fucking T. Use the share function. Wait. Actually, I was going to do that when I was like um, doing the end k is equal to zero, but I was like, no, 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 uh, I could uh, make it even easier by using the shared function, and uh, no, you couldn't. You should listen to your fucking self before. But wait, does that mean the normal code that used the shared function will get fucked up? Wait, 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 like inside the events and everything. Wait, 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 freaking wait. <coughs> oh god, where is the fucking shared function?
it's hard to navigate like this. Let's use this. Oh, that's before I make the game tag initialize class. Hmm. Let's test it in here then. Even though I made a lot of changes in here already. Um, function. Yeah, most of them are from the I and I. Only the event and the game core. To initialize the game core scripts if there's any. Is it? This one I will need to test later, forget it. Let's take a look at the others. Why this guy is using it is because this guy initializes code in here, no problem. And um, Sigmund Tyler use it. And Check Condition use it. Which I might replace later using more complex method to get functions so not not might must actually um, but this should fix the problem actually mm, no Oh wait. Oh. Ha, ha. Oh yeah, 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 actually, yeah, yeah. I should not pass the first keyword, I need the full tag. Yeah. All right, now the load map doesn't work. Oh yeah, 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 I should send only better, I know, I know, give me a second. Now we have the problem with the unique functions. The unique functions will use automatically the tag that has been sent, which is this. And here we um, made um, changes by uh, new the functions directly actually so uh, if I go here come on where is the f oh I am on the same page of the share function but don't know no this is the unique one this is not the share function 
Okay, my head starts to hurt more, damn it. Uh, Sigmit. Yeah, I, I woke up with a heavy headache already, so no worries. It's not because of the code, but somehow... Somehow... Which is correct. So we solve this problem, right? Now this is the issue. This one should be as well solved. Should be solved. But this is the biggest issue. The biggest issue why? Because we have the key script, but all the Unix scripts I programmed. expect to have the parameters doesn't expect to have the uh, and I forgot to record again I said after I make the coffee I'll record the video oops YouTube won't receive its video today oh well actually um, Twitter should memorize and save my video for 12 days maybe I can download that one I will see I will see I uh, will see. Mm. So, to be honest, there's one obvious solution, and I really don't want to do it, is uh, to um, actually there are two solutions, but I really don't want to do the second one more than the first one. But I'm afraid it's more standardized. The first idea is to skip the keyword in here. I'm sending the whole to scripts and I need only the parameters, so skip it inside. But, no, this is too stupid, man. This is way too stupid than to be uh, handled. I wrap the action with the function. Uh, no, I really don't want to do that. Uh, it's like putting a converter into the same converter. This type is already as uh, is an action of campaign string is the accepted type. I don't need to wrap it. Why do I have to wrap it? So I can skip the keyword inside just like these two. That's the idea. I really, 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 really really don't like the idea the problem is the alternative solution is to go through all unique code for everything and make them skip the first keyword and that sounds way much too horrible than to be real because, for example, each game project will have its own unique codes, after all, how the scripts work uh, for classes, especially for GUI classes, because GUI classes live in the game project, and the game project is the game project, it's not the game engine, it doesn't know about, the game engine doesn't know about it, that's why we have unique 
classic it's not the whole reason of it to make it dynamically be able to uh, do this crap to, uh, to have more uh, personalized um, GUIs and menus to each game not only menu systems like if I have a unique uh, cutscene system for a game or unique effects or unique whatever actually the effect I made it in a way that I will wrap all of them again as well so where is the shirt function for example let's take a look because these suckers just like my head is going to explode uh, have their own functions but where did I define them did I define them in the game I and I maybe let's go to the game I and I these for the creatures These for the effects. Where did I do this stupid thing? Here. So here, look at that. How many of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, I'm going to stop counting now because do I want to skip the first key word of all of these guys or do I want to skip on the guy who used them? Which is in my new game engine, I made all of these wrappers into one class is in here it's in the CEP shared CEP it's a um, part of the conversation system There you go, this is the part. It is in here, right? All right. So, um, actually, it's already warped. Yeah. Because, why? String convert. Oh, because this one is a function, this one is an action. Okay. do it but it seems I'm going to do it at the end <sighs> maybe I should do it now or regret it later I mean wh why do I worry about fraction of seconds I mean maybe skipping the keyword is no no yeah 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 let's not be stingy the, the most important part is to make a clean code so you can fix it later. So let, let's test it on the, first of all, let's just test three. Yes, this is test three. So first of all, let's return to uh, where did we crash? In the campaign part, screw it, let's just crash. Oh yeah, I would like to crash on the bed. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, so um, this sucker is called directly, stupid you, it won't send you to here yeah, because there's no wrapper in the first place. Don't kill me, no, actually kill me. Um, uh, kind of comment. 
Thank you. All right, let's do this ugly job. Oh, wait. Now I don't want to do it. I uh, just think we'll invoke it actually. Sigh, sigh, sigh. Whatever, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I really don't want to do it, but let's do it. Dirt. It works, but um, I'm really upset because this look fucking stupid. It's like putting a converter. I don't know if Tosida in Arabic is a converter, but let's take a look. Converter. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like using a double converter to something that doesn't need a converter. That's the problem. Or using a converter to something that you don't need a converter. It's stupid. It's just stupid. It's just ah, ah, ah. But, but, it will save me from skipping the keyword in all the functions in the, in the, in the, um, in the engine and all the functions that I add them in all the games. So that's the price. It looks stupid, right? But um, yeah, man, I hate myself. I really hate this. But uh, you said you wanted standard. Yeah, I thought I could go around it, but the problem is you calling the functions directly. Even the share function, Instead of use the share function, I called it directly. Mm, what if? I'm afraid this is going to kill the fun function. <sighs> Make defined function. Take the full script and skip the thing by itself. Okay, do that. Make defined function. Take the full script and it do the skipping. For the god freaking sake so what we're going to do we're going to make diff okay okay you get the idea <coughs> hopefully
Mm, yeah, do it correctly. And it's funny because it's already doing that. Wait, what? Are you killing me? Are you kidding me? It's already doing that. Are you telling me I could fix that by not giving the first keyword in the first place? Wow. Um, wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. But at least it solved the problem because it, it inspired me to fix the other problem. So actually it worked out somehow. But wow. You fucking moron. Wow. Wow, wow. So what, this is what we, 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 we need to do in the 10 minutes. All the Unix functions, we need to um, work up them. Work up all unique functions. And then we need to send the whole script to the share function. I saw I, I made it like that because I, when I was working on the condition I made it to do that behavior actually and uh, wow just fucking wow anyway the condition I need to deal with them later after I made the standardized for everything so the first one is the equipment. So let's fix the point function by sending the script. And in the meantime, in the main in the meantime, in the in the same time, I'm going to make all the scripts use T in here. You just, just we are doing standardized, aren't we? So let's standardize them. done first one actually I'm not done why this is this is is this is, is. now I'm done
Why there is no return in here? There's many questions going on here. Oh, kill me. Just kill me. Just fucking kill me. Oh, this is an action, okay. Now I get it. We were just started working on this one. The campaign one is the one that we made the new standard on, so it's already been fixed. As I said, <clears throat> as I said, I'm going to replace all of them with T's. So when I said that, I didn't mean a uh, small T, but uh, so uh, I'm not going to skip you because I said uh, I'm going to replace you with T's. I'm doing mistakes but, um, left and right but what to do what to do it's illogical it's illogical illogical yeah illogical oh god Oh yeah, I'm converting this already because this one is a function and this one need an action. I should made all of them into a function in the first place, but as I said, I was experimenting the thing and the thing that I hate the most is the thing, the movie, you know? Um, Is there a movie called The Thing in the first place?
patients. Outlander, be patient. Yeah, I love I love it that it opened to me the quick whatever complete the auto complete thing every time, and I need to close it. I mean, it's really really lovely. Bloody hell! This is not complex at all. Not complex at all. Never. Never. No. Nope. Again, we need to change this into P. So it looked the same in all of them. Actually, if I didn't made all the scripts look standard, fixing all these issues will require to me to fix e to figure out how to solve this issue one by one. So it should it should yeah in principle yeah I haven't speak mixed Arabic and English for a very long time. Saying Yanni, it means, it means actually, uh, it means, it means, um, in principle, I was going to say, it should feel good, in principle, that I'm doing all these changes, even though I'm not happy with the code, how it's look like, but in the same time, you're making huge, huge, huge changes with a few lines. It affects a pool of scripts. It doesn't affect all one script at a time. It affects the whole procedure of invoking scripts. Yeah, I'm not dealing with the clusters. I need to, uh, I might replace the whole thing. I might replace the whole thing.
with all these changes and it's an older class definitely need to be changed Another tag with a different name. Great. Look, everybody, I have R in my code. It's the R language. No, it's the F language. I'm an R programmer. Yes, you are. I don't take it from me. I'm, I'm have a sleeve. It's just. All right. I said I don't want to deal with you. Didn't I close it a few seconds ago? What the hell? What the hell? War. Uh, again, we need to change these. Why are you doing this to yourself? Wait. This is the items, isn't it? Yep. Because items is the only system that I need to memorize the trigger with it. So um, it's the only one that's look different. I need to pass the keyword in here, which is the trigger. So I immediately when I was like, wait, I'm passing a key the, the keyword. That's me. Yep. Doesn't that mean I need to pass the keyword in here as well? Yeah. 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 So here. No, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, sorry. No, it's correct. Okay. Now you're killing me. Are you sure it's correct in here? You skip it once. Well, word pass doesn't affect um, doesn't affect the reference, and that's the problem actually. Mm. So. Give me a second. I wonder how many times I'll get crashes when I start to...
deal with all of this. I screwed up big time in here, didn't I? I'm afraid so. Well, not in all of them. Yeah, I, I um, just realized. I just realized that I'm not skipping the keyword in here and doing all the tasks. What am I doing? Um, These guys don't need to pass because it accept the default uh, code, but these require juggling. Do they? Yes, they do. And never question yourself again. And never, ever, 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 ever. This one is correct. This is the, the first one that I fixed. This one is totally fucked up. This one is totally fucked up as well because it's using the first keyword, which is the, the variable inside the functions scope. And now we need to go back to the items which we just finished. I could take a break 10 minutes ago, but uh, I want to finish this section first. We, uh, we, Yeah, if someone just started to learn the basics of coding and um, come and watch the stream, just don't. No, you, 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 you can, but this would be confusing as hell. I mean, it's confusing as hell for programmers with a very long experiment, not because Oh, 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 I'm the smartest in the world because it, my code is a mess. I'm very, very, very bad at writing clear code. And I admit that uh, there's no need to go and beat the bushes to 
make me look a fool or whatever. I just because a lot of lovely programmers love to do that. Why it's not happy? I made the invoke. Oh, it's not happy from the previous code, okay. And that's exactly what I was talking about. The confusing part, yeah. I forgot to highlight the sheriff function token in there. So I'm done with this, I sure. Let's go. Yep, uh, the first thing. to do this the second thing in the find functions it should take the full because inside them and here and in here Sometimes it feels this is really uh, ugh, I, I was going to say a word and it was on my tongue and all of a sudden I forgot it immediately. Wow, that's never happened before in my life. I was going to say it and now I forgot it. Excessive. This seems really excessive, but um, and it might be, it might be. A lot of times better programmers that I know in real life come and looked at my code and told me this is very exce uh, excessive and I was like uh, at first I was like no but uh, and I used to defend uh, my code then I realized yeah there are always better ways to do what you're doing it's kind of sad because With all the times that I spend and all the experiment that I should learn, I'm still suck at it. I'm still really suck at it. Alright, next. First, let's align them. Yeah, I forgot to remove the um, only in here.
So, I'm making changes to the way how my script is invoked. And here we need to take the keyword and here we need to take the parameters and send it here next is oh this is the last one thanks god i can take a break after this next is this one it has the standard variable name and then we need to close this we need to copy this Need to invoke this. Oh, I can't even type. And then we need to send a keyword in here. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, tag first. And then we send the rest of the code in here. All right, great. Let's see. Gosh, gosh, and it didn't gosh. Okay. So let's enter as a guest, then crash, start the game, then crash, uh, do the move without the elevation, and then crash. Alright, thanks God. The standardized crab has done, bar two. So, um, yeah. I need to take a break, I need to clean my head, and I need to say, be right back.
full. I'm back. So we finished with the standard problems. Naturally, the opposite. The opposite. We need to deal with this. What's called? Is it called action approval or action request? Let's see. Wrong fucking project. This is the map editor or game editor, sorry, map simulator or game editor. Oh, we need to fix this guy as well. I'm eating a little bit because I haven't ate since yesterday 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. so excuse me so let's start the timer and let's do the standard thing in here as well. oh god don't tell me. And that's the beauty of the standards. Don't overthink it. Just do it the same. So I'm afraid we need to do this. What's going on? What, what, what just happened? I don't know what just happened. It's just like... Uh, Why is not happy? Oh. It is a function, okay. You are killing me.
now we need to take the first keyword. And send the parameter. All right. Why he's not complaining with this guy? Oh. Okay. And the last thing we need to send only the script in here. The last time we move, we you we test the action rule, it worked. Now I made the changes might not work no all right well actually this thing this code should not move the character this guy actually should approve a keyword so um, we need to implement the real thing now So action approval, which is um, this guy, we already made him uh, accept multiple tags. And now we uh, need to work on uh, making this um, uh, where am I defining these in the um, creature class in the creature class Actually, doesn't have uh, any function. Mm. Well, this is the action approval, after all, which. Um, all right, all right. So, for newcomers, let me explain a little bit. This is the action condition system I talked about in my blog that I wrote recently two days uh, yesterday not two days ago two days ago I was working on the standardized um, the scripts and all systems which is dealing with the characters control in general it's uh, to receive a request from the controller which is mapped by the the player profile and check if the player profile which character is controlling now and if uh, and it send the keys to the characters and the characters do the checks what it's not if uh, when it's received the script it should check uh the conditions uh, does he have ammo is there a wall in front depends on the script itself and before, before in older code, I used to do the whole procedure inside um, a huge um, hard code uh, code to do everything. This is a very simple one for the ball, uh, how it works. But if um, we go to um, uh, test two, which have a walking character. I need to do this. 
So instead of using the scripts for action approval, I do the uh, set side and return the action. And if there's a condition, it makes the conditions in here. So it's all hard coded. So this is only for the section approval for one character. And this is for uh, the action request, which is the second class, which will take a configuration of states and do the stuff. It's hard coded again. For example, if it interacts, what it do? And here is for the subquest, if I'm not mistaken. No, this is the release. After, uh, if you do the subquest and release the, the 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 keyboard, so this is the final thing, and this is for the combination. So all of this is hard coded. All of this code for one unfinished character. If I have another character playable that do exactly the same thing without any change but it's a different character i need to replace the whole hard coded again and that's why i'm not happy with the system just like too much hard code parts and that's why i'm making the big step i remove the whole system and i'm going to replace it completely with scripts the problem is scripts doesn't support conditions i cannot make a condition inside a script if it is something, then do something. And that's why I was like, yeah, it's impossible. And I kept it as it is. And, and hopefully not anymore. Now I'm working on two things. To working on the action condition system, which is the control system in other words. And I'm working on the condition system. I still haven't used any condition yet. I still haven't debug or checked how it works. Because, as you can see, I'm in the progress of connecting the scripts in the correct way first. So, 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 we, the, the second step is, let's try to make uh, an animation. This is like a, a very, very, very uh, confusing part. It will take some time to do it. Uh, we need, uh, we need uh, to make this guy first uh, approve an action the thing is no one filled the field uh, field 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 no one filled these yes so uh, let's go to the share function and add some so this is the creature functions we need action approvals it is the one right i mean this is uh, the action approval function yep so um we go here pray 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 first let's add regions I should be really freaking happy with this. How do I end region? Damn it, I forgot, really? Oh, maybe I misspell it. No, he's not happy. Did I say regions? Region. What the hell happened? Anyway. I need to change the name because the behavior is a little bit different now. It's uh, not an ugly code anymore. If he, yeah, yeah, the, I don't want to show you old code because in the, it's just embarrassing. 
is just embarrassing. I rarely go into use creature faction. It's usually for um, actually over security. Uh, this one will uh, have the triggers for uh, creatures and uh, objects. Mm, I was going to say I'm going to rarely use this inside the game engine because this is usually inside the game uh, projects, which is. For the game itself so actually yeah 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 i'll rarely use it inside the engine so i don't go into put a section for it engine codes are uh, common codes that are going to be used in most games codes in the projects are codes in the projects the engine doesn't know about them so yeah the game knows about the engine, but the engine doesn't know about the game. That's why the game lover is a DLL. It's a shared... It is a DLL, yeah. It's a separate project. Not only a separate project, it is a shared project as well. Before. There were no shared projects like these uh, as a shared project, not only shared um, uh, mono game project, but yeah, yeah. Uh, can I focus here? Yeah, sure. So what I was going to do, I'm going to approve um, um, uh, something, something, something. So approve won't have any conditions, just approve without conditions. So what it's going to do? It's going to accept one keyword, let's say. Let's take the first keyword and then we will add it to oh wow why did you complete it without asking you add it to uh, the action condition um, the hashtag where's the hashtag wait I changed the thing No, these are the, uh, eh? No, these are the functions. What are these? What am I doing? What's going on? What the hell is going on? Terlende, terlende. I'm not sure what I'm doing. This this is the has the has the hashtag the hashtag no this is F 
fucking idiot. This is the class. You need to check the object. You fucking idiot. Animation. Creature object. The class is the definition of the type of the creatures. The object is the instance, the character themselves. So what we're going to do, I'm going to do this just for testing for later. to add a script to the map to the game editor so um, here we go to the character we go into the action global and this is map simulator 2 no no this is map simulator 3 and when you walk right and instead of changing the sign and move one Why when I click on the right, it goes left then, if it moves one? I screwed up somewhere. I either the control right is left, or the script is wrong. No, the control is right, then the, the, the script, the move is wrong. Yeah, it is minus. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, we will fix this now. But first, we return here and change this into... No, no, no. Return back. Return back. Return back. Oh. Uh, set side zero. And approve what is the state? The state is here. Walk small w. So save. Actually, copy the whole thing. Save. Save. Replace the game file. Break. Correct. Did I fucked up the regions? Yep. And there you go. Uh, we got ourselves walk. Ha ha. Um. Now this is the beauty of it, hopefully.
We need to fire the action approval in the game physics um, somehow to make him on the ground as well. I I done all of this before in test game too, but uh, yeah, it's different. It's completely different. It's hard coded. It's not script, but uh, slowly. But yeah, uh, slowly we can, we can convert everything in, inside the script. So uh, here we can jump and we can move. This is the old code it works but what to do you need to replace everything uh this um bridge but this one you can jump on yeah it's testing for the solidity yeah it's clunky a little bit you can see that but uh, unfortunately because the, the file got corrupted and i fixed it manually and some parts that dealing with the quests are broken. So if I do anything that deals with the quest, it fucking crash. So I can show you the whole demo now. But I have many videos when I was working on a system show the full, full thing. And hopefully when this system works, I won't need to go back to the older projects. Um, So now we accept we have a very dirty, fast, and furious uh, thing that accept the approve um, the uh, keyword. How can we? Let me see. How did I do it in the older? Uh, System. How did I do on the ground? So we're going to make entire solution search on ground. I save a state called break ground. <laughs> to be honest, I can replace this with an attribute. Should I? Or should I make it common? All creatures can have on the ground um, flag. But let's keep it because even if the game is top down, I can make characters jump. So um, yeah, let's keep it. Let's keep it. But this is the state. I'm looking at um, the action. here so this is the gravity class which is mm, mm, it's personalized um, it's very specific only for this game but I believe I can do better And I believe I'm dead tired all of a sudden. Uh, I should munch on my sneaker. This required a lot of thinking.
Oh yeah, okay. Well, it's not that bad as a system, I guess. So we could uh, you just use it. Let's just use it. So what we need to do, we need to use to define a new class inside the game, and then initial in the initialize stage, we uh, do the initialize. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Really clean. Less than 50 code. If you go to the old game I and I. Yeah. So every time I make a project, a new project, and I need to initialize variables, I need to write all this crap. Well, the effects still need to be refilled this one I'm thinking seriously to remove it this one this one I'm not happy with this one and I'm not happy with this one either I, I need to tweak around it but here we could do this and make a new class called gravity so we can copy the whole thing I can do we just copy based? Okay. Whatever. Don't kill me, will ya? It's interesting that you can change the the project file without closing it. Before you need to unload it from the solution, edit it, then load it. Now you can just do that. Interesting. I wish if I had that when I was working on the setup project. In this version, all creatures have to have on ground and on air actions to be affected by the gravity. It 
it still needs a lot of tweaking. It's a little bit rough. But for now, I'm a little bit obsessed with the Did I make it public? No, it's protected. Hmm. Then why did I remove the... Uh, why did I remove this? And I believe I called this uh, C-class. Did I really remove this? Hmm. Guess it was a casualty of war when I removed all systems since I removed it as well. I guess the easiest way to fix this is just to go and copy and paste it. Damn, it has a lot of interfaces. Yep. Even I extract <laughs> extra text. Okay. Uh, this will be useful if I want to print their uh, health quickly on the HUD. A very gentle way to open the door. Uh, so yeah, the easiest way just copy the code that I have deleted. Seems I deleted because I removed the system and any, anything related to it. And it was casualty of war after all. So let's plug it in again in somewhere that's related to it. Where should I put it, damn it? Uh, I want to put it somewhere that it feels... Whatever, put it here. So this is inside the creature. The second one is inside the class, actually. So, um, action AR. Here. No, this is inside the animated particle. Well, the creature class is an animated particle. Wait. Why the animated particle accepts something that's related to the action? Can yeah. Yeah, the, the, this must be removed from the particle in the new system because I made it, uh, yeah, yeah, I made it exclusive. So let's go to the particle class. Particle class is just a way to say this is an, uh, a physical object in the map. Is it inside the map uh, folder? Yep. Oh. Oh, 
animated particle. Animated particle is related to the class, not the object. Okay, 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 okay. Yep, it should be, it should be removed. It must be uh, exclusive now to the class. And it's removed from the class as well. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, is it public? No, it's protected internal. Okay. Fair enough again. So now. Actually, I can I could make it into properties because I hate getters as a function. And before, I didn't know that uh, you can make a property with get without set or set without get. I wonder if you can do it without either. That would be funny. <sighs> now we need to call this in the, in the map in uh, the update, the main update loop. So let's go to the old project and we go to the uh, update loop and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here. Oh wow, it's called from the, the, the game engine as well. Uh, from the physics okay interesting so later on in year 7000 million and seven I will think about building my own physics engine the question is where it's called after the map update okay so here this is the draw this is not the update I still use this alright after the map update we can use cavity now we need to deal with the action condition system I already disabled it Let's remove anything that's not related so we can focus on it. Maybe I can need the ga game I and I. So, um, in the creature object, I wow, still have all these things. Eh? It needs some cleanup. Some of them I cannot clean because. It's uh, related to um, an interface. So here, because it kept crashing, I just like it. And you know what, dude? Screw you. I sold it. So let's do this. And let's see if uh, it doesn't crash. It does, it does. Mm. Yeah, it does crash. No. Yeah, I haven't worked on it yet, so... I need to work on it. Let me eat something for a second.
some burnt chicken. How did it burn? It shouldn't burn, damn it. No. That's what happens when you have a lot of sauce that's in the after you cook it and put it in the refrigerator, then you put it in on the micro in the microwave. Damn, it's bad. Damn, it's bad. I screwed it up. Anyhow. I'm going to do a lazy job a little bit in here and um, copy this part at least. Actually, I could copy this part as well. Standardized power! And here we check the uh, creature class. Let me do action request. I was like, why do I have to share it with um, action uh, approval? I was like, I didn't know this is one of them is favorite because I'm using it a lot. It's a new visual 2019 mechanic switch. It's lovely, very lovely. So in the old game, in the old game, it's part of the game itself, 
not part of the game engine to define the behavior of the character when it do everything so um, this will approve the uh, actions uh requests from the controller and um, this is the sub action this is not the action and this is the release this is the thing this uh, will um should check um, the um, the combinations like idle, walk, and all, and do stuff. Here we are going to deal with them case by case instead of every case. So when I do a script for walk. I will need to do several things. So, for example, can't I replace the game file from the game file to the game file? I know, I know, I know. One idea at a time. Can you focus on one idea at a time? Thank you. Okay, so here. Oh, this is a tag? Oh, wow. Okay. 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 Because before, I used to go to a different page to set up the whole thing. Now, the second page is actually for the control I'm using it. This is a little bit confusing. A lot of damage changes in a very short time. That's why it's a big step, after all. That's why it's a big step. So here, here I need to do this code. But only for the walk, not for all of them. Here it is just like a deal with all of them. I wonder if I'm going to uh, later on make a mechanic to copy these on the fly like oh this character do the same things I need to I need to to make a, a button in here to export these actions and state from one to another but uh, one by one let's the system work first then we can make war apps over it to make life easier do I have a code to change the attribute and if I do do is it um, to be honest I shouldn't worry about the set height yet let's not worry about it what I need to worry about is the animation and this guy doesn't set the animation Why there is noise outside? I don't want to focus, damn it. <sighs> Let me open the old map editor and show you what I'm talking about. What's going on outside? It's driving me nuts. A lot of noise. So this is the old map simulator that I'm changing. And this is the test 2. And uh, in the creature, walker. For example, uh, this is walk animation. 
when we go to action you, you, you see this is exactly the same page in the new map simulator but when we finish the state when we finish programming for example when walk action is happening we need to go here and then we select him again and we go to walk and this is how he walk if there's no condition he walks if he's only go up and he called animation called ill walk instead of walk only when he carries a certain type of weapon on this weapon so um So this thing, the old thing, it doesn't exist anymore. I remove the whole thing. And instead, we are replacing this page with one script. And here's the script as well. For example, the ill walk, he's moved 4.8. But this is the result animation uh, script not the whole thing the whole thing will be crammed in here somehow so um, the request need to deal with something called the result animation and uh, to deal with the result animation we need to make conditions and uh, if there is no condition then it fire immediately so actually the script should be a little bit huge because this script, as I said, replaces everything in this page. It replaces the sides, it replaces the conditions, it replaces the result animation, it results the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the flags, and the scripts for each one of them. So, um, hmm. Seriously, hmm. So one step at a time. One step at a time. Let's 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 take notes. Let's take notes. Let's. This is the real work. I have been preparing for the big step for more than three weeks now. Remaking the new YouTube projects, but the whole fucking point, or the the the, the cheese of the meal. The cheese of the meal, the, the fat of the meal, um, it doesn't work in English. Zubda in Arabic, we say the, the fat of the meal. Uh, that's been what's important is is replacing the system, replacing this mess with a script. But this is actually, I already have a page for this, it's called refactoring. Is it one of these? not one of these maybe it's here are you sure it's here hmm. is it in the game engine maybe it's in the oh yeah game issues why did I write that thing yeah here I believe I kept the class for the result animation. Okay, most of the code can be replaced with one script for each action condition. And instead of having equip condition in every action condition and side tags and tags, we have a script. This script either return one animation or add all of these kinds of conditions. 
we can combine them with and and or to get results not sure if i have else yet but i should i should oh i i'm talking about the uh, condition the first if condition script but i should uh, uh, the system self that handle the if condition but i should i should make a gui to simplify this procedure hmm. but the final result should be one script so okay okay what i'm saying is instead of writing the code all of it manually i should use this page to do that hmm. but then where can i move this this is the action approval should i move it to the control uh, here the control <sighs> hmm yeah yeah i need to add a new page in here uh, i need to add a new page in here there's something bothers me this thing is not loaded it saves but it doesn't load uh, it's an easy fix let, let me write down let me write this down it's a new thing, so it's expected to have fucked up. Uh, give me a second. It's a big step, damn it. Do I have two to do? Okay, we have two to do. I don't need this, do I? Yeah, I don't need this. Let's close it. And I don't need this either. Uh, yeah, let's close it. So here, in map simulator, um, uh, create, create. request list is not loaded when the file when the PF is loaded so this is the first problem we need to fix then make a new tab in AFK attack fire and control AFC tab hey. To add the requests and add attack to them for each character or creature class. So we're going to do this. So what we're going to do? What 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 we're going to do? We are going to. Um, this is the the old map simulator. Let's tag it here. What we are going to do, now we have two map editors, version 2 and version 3. What we are going to do, I'm going to take this section and move it here in the new section. And I'm going to remove this, which might be confusing because and going to move it with there as well. So when you click on one of these, which it doesn't show, but in here, if you go to um, here, I don't have this group. This is new. You write it down. But if it doesn't exist, if you misspelled your um, 
For example, if I write range one in small, it won't work. Uh, so uh, I made it because it's used as a variable now. It's used in here. It has a tag. So I'm going to, yeah. So this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do next. Move this into new tab and add in there each class that you control to have its tag. So instead of going back and forth, uh, you just, for example, here's a script, it will show in there. Even though, yeah, that's what bothers me. Even though this is part of the creature more than part of um, well, no, no, oh, no, it's both. This is part of the control. It's what happened when you request the control. Actually, yeah, it's more fitting to put in here. Okay, okay, makes sense. And I'm going to use this space to make some guy of a guy that will help you to build this script. Even though the script is one huge chunk script, uh, this guy, I will make it to help you to uh, replace it. The thing is, it won't be able to load it. It will be really hard to load it, but we will see. We will see. Anyway, um, yeah, this will be a lot of work. A lot of trial, a lot of tears. Be right back. <laughs>
Yesterday, I noticed my voice was too low on the microphone, and um, I was going to fix it for the next stream, and I just remember that. Remember at the start of the screen, I just woke up, so uh, I'm go. The, the the voice will go high all of a sudden, so yeah. I don't know how did this fucked up happen, so sorry about that. Let's listen to ourselves. Let's listen to ourselves. Okay, sorry about that. So um, now, hopefully, my voice will be clearer. Maybe because when I was trying to make the microphone work, because the stupid Yeeti it get disconnected easily, and when it get disconnected, most programs doesn't get it back. Anyhow, I don't feel ready for the next task, but. I will try to soldier on and do another hour of work. So let's start the timer. Let's close this guy. And create game. Yeah, I remember when I was doing uh, live code TV in my code, and all people were like, Why do you have 5,000 lines of code? Your, your code is bad. Okay. Okay. No problem. Your code is better. Go ahead. No, I'm with you. Your your code is better because it's not five thousand line. Go ahead. Bet yourself on the back. Uh, just. No, I want to rename the the one from inside, not this one. The tab itself. This is a tab collection. So we're going to cut this. No, don't cut it. Please don't cut it. Do anything, just don't cut it. Okay. And uh, here. Can't you go with the group? Oh, it is with the group. Shut up. Okay. That's confusing, damn it. Uh, this one's a little bit low, it's a little bit higher than the text, so. Uh, Why did I call it seven? Oh, because we deleted the tab. Oh, the unit test, I believe. 
Fuck damn thing. Ah! This six. Let's first fix the first problem by updating the list. Here, this is the best place. Control Z, just do Control Z. Can you get here? The next one is the ABs. Where are the ABs? Animated block. No, the ABs is not here, it's in the update section. Boy, 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 boy. I'm too lazy to think too much. Silly fucking you. Silly fucking you. No, you can select it without the profile. Oh, it must be items and add. Okay. So it is part of the update is PCP tab 347. Alright. That's not right. Can you request an a weapon to attack? No, you can't. So it's well, it's part of the the the, the guy. So whatever. So every time I delete or add a creature, to add to the to the ones in here in the request. 
So now we have these, and when we select these, um, we should be able to um, do these. So what you're going to do, you're going to take this, and move it here. So let's change the order a little bit. I'm thinking how can we make this larger I'm thinking to make this below this somehow I don't know just keep it no no I, I don't want to deal with um, design too much let me think now we need to connect this with this instead of uh, using these so let's go to this guy <clears throat> before I copy it uh, let's remove these Put one here, go here, go here, Close this. Go here. Add this. because we moved it to this tab okay and now I don't need this comment now we uh, take um, this I don't know why he's crying. I hate it. I hate it. Let me solve the crying issue first. Solved. Alright. Can I focus on my code? Uh, my code. My code? My code. 
on my code now. How did I even pronounce that word, damn it? Um, <sighs> so I can jump between requests and between characters. Interesting. It's, it's neat. It's really neat. I, I should uh, try to do the same thing now. Uh, but it's the um, other way around, actually. So, um, uh, this one is for the AB, which is this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, do wow. This. So uh, if request item is not selected, which is weird. For this, we are using the request item in save and delete. So let's go to delete. So this one, select index is less or equal zero, no, minus one. Return. What's wrong with it? It's too slow, the uh, code loader. Yeah, every time I deal with this page, especially this page, it's slow because we have thousands of components. Not thousands, but hundreds. Definitely hundreds. I mean, look at this. Definitely. Uh, so um, here, this is a new one, so it will create a handler. No? Oh, so it changed the name. Okay, okay. Uh, here, we're going to move this code. Now it will cry because. <laughs> and put it here. And uh, I believe it's similar code. So let's fix this one. So this one should check um, this one and this one should check this one Focus a little bit. This one, the creature. This one, the request. So this one is this one. And uh, this one. And this one, the request. So it's the same code in here. But we need to check if this one is selected first. Great. Let's test it. Great. Just test it. Boldy be gone, bold, bold, bold. Um, uh, after I finish the uh, make, making the uh, finish all the updates on the both projects, I will clean up this because these are references to the old projects I said edit didn't I so here before I go to the animation and set the, the tag for the, the, the scripts for the request in here 
Now we move it to this section. A little bit confusing, but I'll, hopefully I will get used to it. So here, when we select the creatures, we can no longer see the list of requests in here, but we should see them in here. So the, these are all the requests that can be done to the creatures. And when we select one of them and select Walker, we see the script for the approval. Yeah, I kind of hate it because now I need to jump between two sections to make the action condition works. Now we can use the space for uh, building the action condition in here. I was thinking there is no script that setting the animation to idle and yet test 3 is already idle. How the hell is that working? Then I remembered that all creatures are set to have an idle animation when they get placed or uh, initialized. I was like, oh yeah, 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 but uh, okay. Well, why, why he's not happy now? I take a script and a creature object. It doesn't take a profile. Okay. Okay. Oh, fucking. I need to wake up. Um, I'm not focused. So here, it's playing the first idol. Um, continue. And I was like, wait. I don't have the old action condition system, how it's working. Then I remembered uh, all of them are set. Uh, uh, um, creatures must uh, have an animation. It doesn't work if it doesn't have an animation in the engine. And that's why I set it as idle animation all the time. Unlike creatures, uh, unlike objects, objects can live without animation. The main thread and the sub main thread already existed. Interesting, because they doing nothing, uh, so automatically it uh, killed them. Wow, interesting. Anyway, yeah, I have a thread system as well. I have a thread manager called Time Manager. Here, this guy. It has two threads, major and minor. Um, uh, where are we? So yeah, 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 yeah. We need to somehow figure out how to make the old system into the new one. And I'm really not ready for that. My head is not ready for that. But I will try to muzzle through. We don't need this. We need to focus on the spot. This is the action release. Yeah, action request release. Uh, I'm not testing this. I'm testing this. So we already done these two steps. Wow, 
We will try to make one fucking action request work without making the helper. This guy. So let's work on walk. If I'm on the ground and walk, what will happen? In the old system, If I'm on the ground and walking, it will uh, check if I'm holding a weapon. And if not, then it will do this. So let's do this step. Then we make the condition. So this step is based on his side, it will do the walk animation with different flags and different code so this is what's going on so uh actually we have a condition here hmm okay the first question is did i make an action approve a uh, uh, result animation did i keep it so uh, let's go there. So in the action request, I have action condition and I have animation data. Okay. So the animation data should be the one who is responsible on the sides. No, no, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't. Um, Wait a second. Thanks God I have this comment. I was like, okay, this is handling the request. This part will handle this code. Okay. And we are done with this for now. We don't care about you. Get out. This part should handle this part when the hash tags of actions, the set of actions are done. Then it will do this, okay? Do this secret. What is this? Oh, this part is this part the conditions okay 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 and okay hmm. we don't always have conditions we can immediately jump to here but usually we don't jump here all the time we first must check the condition if it exists yeah it's a little bit different than the old system the old system it always check the conditions first then it do this part now it can do this part but if there are conditions then i must check the condition so it's different. Okay, okay, okay. Now, how can I do that? This part. Is solely based on the, uh, the side. And over the, then the side, sometimes we can have different animations which is a little bit complex system that I haven't played with yet. Uh, imagine if you have more than one walk cycle or more than one idle cycle, then we can have uh, more than one result animation, which we can pick from based on the conditions, not these conditions, based on some kind of formula 
that's inside the hard code unfortunately it's not so this one again the hard code would be replaced by a soft code by a script uh, so for example uh, the, when you do idle one is all the time but there's a chance there's a random chance that uh, it's not sign oh yeah I must hmm. how can I show the script in here I forgot that there must there should be a script that uh, make conditions which one is selected but anyway 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 let's let's try to solve the problems uh, in order so uh, instead of going here then here we need somehow to jump to here so uh, this sucker Of course it's empty. I'm working on the system. No one has filled them. What does it do? What should it do? This sucker, the sucker, what should it do? What kind of things it can do? Let me uh, see if I wrote, uh, if I wrote, if I, yeah, if I if I wrote, yeah, that's actually the. But any notes on this subject? I should make a GUI simplify this procedure, but the final result should be one script. With that, we won't need all these kinds of complex checking. The same script can decide what to do if something fails, like if it moves and there's an obstacle, it should return idle. Or if fire and there is no weapon or no ammo. A few issues need to be considered. First, how can we focus on animation to continue and not check the SAs? Uh, like when an enemy gets pushed or oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. A roll that can't be cancelled, or a slow attack that need to finish before the player can move. So the dictionary should look like this conditions. So the state and actions will result into action activation. Conditions will result, then it will go to conditions. We already done with this part, kind of. We didn't program any condition yet. Then we need the animation result. Then we need the animation data. Hmm. So we need to deal with animation result first. So the animation data goes next. Okay. So in the action request, let's do this. In the action request, let's add a script to, this is the old work. Let's add a script to set the result animation, the, the name, and set the flag as well. So for the left side, it should be reversed. Let's do this. So we need two scripts to write here. So let's program that. Uh, let's go to the creature of the class. And we have shared creature functions. We need check creature action request. Yeah, this one. So here, no, not here, God, 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 focus. This is the functions. 
This is the approval. This is the condition. Actually, we need the fourth region. Action. What is it called? Damn it. Request. Set animation data flag. Actually, I can embed uh, embedded the um, the conditions in here as well. So let's add a second one before I think how to solve this. To um, sit current animation. This is a script, so let's make it a little bit clearer. We can even make a one um, function to put out both of them because this is not like the old system. The the old system, each side have its own scripts. Now we have the whole thing in one script. So actually, actually on default, on default, it should have everything. It should have the flags and should it have this. So, um, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I will leave this, I will leave this, but in here, int k is equal to zero, string c animation is equal to share function token key AFK space and um, string uh, animation data is equal to second part and uh, if AD is not empty then um, we set the result animation so um, to do that, oh, 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 it might be empty. Um,
and now we set the C animation. The problem is the uh, current animation is an animation. This is the name, so we need to find the animation from the creature class, which is from the owner. So um, animation. Is there a function to do that? I believe there is a set animation function because because life is difficult. Shut up! Life is horrible. Life is update map. C animation. Now, this is the idle position. This is the frame. Here, yeah. Uh, because I sh I'm changing a lot of crap, I might even update this thing. So this one take an animation as animation in the class. Why am I doing this kind of check? This is completely redundant. I mean useless I mean because this one's check already <sighs> only one guy is using you I don't know why I'm doing this I could remove this if I regret it I'll regret it but for now let's remove it So I'm going to use this in the first one. Hmm. Let me think for a second. Give me 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 a second. This is a condition. This is a condition. We need to make him face right if he uh, the request is right. So. Actually, I can set this is in the request. Hmm. Let me think. So actually, hmm, these functions we can move them into the uh, the creature functions, and the action condition. Uh, the action here be able to take them from the creature functions just like the approval so in the approval this one um, 
it take them from the creature functions, right? We need to do something similar. So, um, mm, yeah, yeah. So here, it is, yeah. Same signature, so we can copy the whole thing. And now we go back. We uh, take those and put them here. Remove this. Let me code this. Wow, my head parse, not pass parse key. What now? <sighs> you fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. Chili, whatever. Okay. Okay, okay, now I can move it. Now this is. Hmm. So, what we are going to do. Then, why do we need to change the side in the first place? Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I fire the weapon or something, it know which direction he's facing at least. Okay, we are going to um, to the control, and we are going to sit animation data flag. I'm not sure what's the flag's value, so let's go and check in the old project. No, it's it's still in here. Should be one, yeah, should be one. Uh, zero to the right. The save is not correct, it's not saving. I need to check the save. So, uh, oh god, 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 let's see, map editor, create. What happened to the save? I know I moved you, but. Oh. Oh fuck you. Fuck you. Why did I cut why did I cut them? Why did I cut them? I shouldn't cut the uh, this from the designer. Uh, 
Okay, calm down, calm down, let's fix this. Create game. Why do you do that? Please work. Please work. Nam binam 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 Thank you. So um That's why it didn't work before. Where's the start? Still doesn't save. Oh, because yeah, 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 yeah. Because the conditions. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I need to move the code as well. Actually, it's already moved, right? Quick control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, here we need to check the A B C B tab seven. What? Really? Hmm. Damn, I'm tired. I can't even think. Where are we? Which section is this? There's an easier way to check. So if I click on add, is it below? So we, we, we need these two. We need these two. Uh, I need to move the code there. We uh, need this. So let me take this. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Now it will fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Sorry. I'm just... The designer will screw me up now. So we need to move this in here to um, here So we need to check this request and we need to check wait yeah okay yeah did this can usually here but this one do two things different now okay 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 so uh, this one and here we need to change this into this and the action approval we need to be using these all right that's what happened when you move stuff
scripts here. Uh, I want to change the animation data to not zero. Save. And in walk left, one. Save. Okay. We are not done yet. And here, we need to set the animation into walk. So this to walk. And let's check the name animation. This one, just to make sure. Save. What? The save is not correct. The save is not working, what the hell? I need to fix save or make a button to uh, save the script alone without changing um, the thing. It, this is a little bit complicated because the hash set should not, you shouldn't be able to uh, because this is the key for the dictionary as it has shit, the, the hash set here. Uh, save so. Uh, I I need to add in map simulation a way to save the script in um add a tag save button we're almost there we're almost there we just need to fix this issue and save the script uh map simulator thing for a few minutes wait wait Oh fuck me, we don't have any code in this, so I need to remove the designer. Uh, So uh, I actually done it on purpose, so it saved the location, but I screwed it up by going to a different tab. So I need to go here, generate the stupid code for the handler for this, cut it, go back, 
go back. Yeah, oh, fuck me, man. Fuck me. And we can baste it here. Come on. Come on. Okay. This one. No, this one. Actually, no, it is this one. Action condition list eight up five. If action condition list selected index is less than zero, return. Load everything again. Calm down. Jesus fucking guys. Come on. Come on. Tag A tab five. I change the order. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, 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 uh. Think a little bit. Think a little bit. Think a little bit. We are already saving the asset. We gave it a name here. This is one of the major changes I made when I was building it in the last two or three months. This is one of the major changes I made. Now I need to figure out how did I save it. This one, but uh, when I select an action condition, does it load it up? It seems so. The problem is I need to be sure 
to work on the editor in an easier way. When I create create a new one, does it add it? So when I click on add here, does it update the temporary action list or not? Of course, every time I switch between the, the pages, I need to wait seven fucking hours. It does actually, it does. So I could use it. I could use it. I need to be careful, but I could use it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to switch back and forth. Let me search for it. Okay. Pray. Pray that this will work. Pray that this will work. So here, one once again, let's set the animation into walk. Save. Idle. Walk. Idle. Walk. It worked. Thanks. God. Let me check the request first. Go to the request. Go to the walker. Walk. Walk. Save. Open. Go to the script wizard and replace the file. Go to stupid project. Uh, that's free. Run. It should work now and have the animation of walking. But when I stop, it shouldn't set the animation to idle because we didn't set the idle into the idle animation. You see here, when the character go idle, I didn't set the animation, I only set it here. But the game itself set it into idle when I first started. So here he's idle, great, it will work. Nope, crashed. Figured. Um, figured. It, it, it's expected. It's just expected. Okay, where are we? The, the action approval. So we are crashing the action approval. How many actions do we have here? That's mean it failed to check the third one. Why did it fail to check the third one? We have, oh. No, okay, 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 okay. For some reason, um, this one not has not been found. So maybe the spelling is incorrect. So let's test the spelling. So this one is here. And the one in the script, let me close this, is no, the spelling is correct. 
how that happened. So the first question is how did that happen? So uh, here Oops, I forgot to change the uh, the guy who do the thing. It was part of the uh, action request, but actually I moved it and go um, to make it creature. And the creature is an action, so it doesn't need this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to make everything standard. I'm getting sick of uh, little changes, or little differences. Because I, I, I do the code in different period of times for like years pray pray come on come on this should work so again the expected result is idle when I move you will move animation then the image will froze pray nope crashed uh... Getting tired. Uh, I screwed up everything now. No, actually, I'm in the action request. This is a new uh, error. Okay, 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 okay. There's hope. There's fucking hope. We are in the new section. So this one passed. Uh, so. Um, Uh, the the creature should have the animation data as one the the the, the, the its flag so the ad result no no why oh it's it should be zero sorry it should be zero because I clicked right and the side is uh, zero but the current side is one what's going on um okay so why it crashed let's focus on that so we have two um tags which is incorrect actually Where did I fuck up? Where did I fuck up? Uh, to be honest, my 
my energy is all drained out and uh, I never test this part so I need to test the whole thing So this is when create uh, creatures class is created and this is the idol. So uh, the tag for the idol is actually empty, it should be. Yeah, that's why it just skip it. Now we are in the walk animation. And the tag of walk animation is the sit cut animation walk. So the 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 tag versus sit cut animation and the uh, the whole script is sit current animation walk. So he the tags already have one. How the hell did that happen? How the hell did that happen? So let's start again. Figured loading and saving is not correct. Um, Either I remove this from here, or remove this part in here. Yeah, let's remove it from here. No, oh, this is action release. Um, not dealing with action release yet. Wait. Actually, the action request worked. What just happened? Oh, no, 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 not the request, the action condition. Where is it? Oh, no, this is sub action request. What the hell? I want action requests alone. Because it's uh, this is the idle state. Why it didn't work? So uh, let's go to the class and let's uh, check the script for set current animation. Do you know what? Maybe no, it didn't work. If it worked. Wait, wait, wait. Who fired this? Walk. What's the current animation? No. Because I'm making a token. 
Wait, this should work then. Why is not changing the animation then? Well, I need to use the bathroom. Be right back.
I should put the timer, but whatever. Sorry about that. Um, I thought I won't take that much of uh, I really don't want, want to stop working and call it a day, but I, I, I want to fix this. I want to see the animation blade. So I'm not sure what's wrong. So let's try to uh, debug some stuff. Uh, system diagnostics debug right line. C animation. Ah. Oh god, fucking. So the animation didn't change for some reason, even though it keep telling it walk, 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 and I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. No, sorry. I'm a fucking, fucking idiot. No, I'm so I'm fucking. Ah! I didn't said it. But I'm sure I wrote this code already. But where did I put it? And there you go. 
But then when I click left, it doesn't change. Why? Why it doesn't change? Really? One, yeah. Should be one. This guy is not the one who uh, who reversed the images, then who is? Okay, so let's go back to the guy that hold the flag and see where it's used. Let's see where it's used in this too. In the old project, we go to the result animation uh, class, which the, the whole file got deleted. In the new project, I believe. All of this got deleted. Except this one got salvaged. So this guy is dealing uh, the change of frames and it's using this. So if we go back and go to the creature object and go to set C T B B uh, fuck here. This, but this is the holder. This is what he's holding. No, it's not the one. This related to the weapon when I check yourself and check the weapon. So, uh, but what about Walker? Walker himself. This for good damage. This one to check the uh, wall. The obstacle. This one for the weapon. Here. It's in here. It's in the map class. Weird.
wait, what's this for? This is for the layers of the creatures. Ah, this is related to the draw directly. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough, I didn't change this code. So it's in the map class draw. Shouldn't the door be at the end? What the hell is going on? What, 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 what are these? And I don't... Is it... Ah, it's the old... That's why. It's the old thing. It's the old project. I'm in the wrong project, people. Alright. So we stop this. Map class. Control. Oh, I'm here. Okay. Here. Why this did it work? This is, uh, no. This is the layers. If it has layers. This one, if it doesn't have layers. And this is for the equipment. Uh, I'm not dealing with the equipment. Uh, oh yeah, um, hmm. Didn't, yeah, this is the drop creature, okay. So, the, all, all, all of this code is for the layers. Where is the code for the creature itself? I hate this shit. What the hell, man? What the hell? Did I give the stupid things layers already? Okay, so walker layers. Walker walk. Actually I did. Damn it. Okay. What is CCBE flag? When I click 12 evident uh, uh, creature object. Oh. 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 I might remove this. Um, I would remove this. Forget about the clone. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We play once. Okay, this is for playing once. Okay, 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 okay. When do we set this fucker to the result animation? Never. In the older class, when do we set it? I can see what's going on. Uh, creature object. Yep. 
This one is, yep. Action condition checker. This whole. This is the reason why I hated to make games. Uh, or anything related to gameplay in my engine. This. This piece of trash. This. So, um. In the new project, I made a huge cleanup and uh, a lot, a lot of these variables going to be deleted and this is one of them. So I need to delete it now and remove all of the references and use the result animation uh, reference. So. Um, in the creature class, the AD result, we use the AD result. So here, this is the cloning. Uh, this one need to be uh, a major cleanup as well. Close this for now. Now it should work. Now it should change the position, the uh, reflect. Nope. Oh. Yep. Now let's do the last thing. No, the last thing will need a, a condition. It will need a condition. But uh, let's let's try to do it. Let's try to do it. Here. When he walks, let me move him to the right. And then tomorrow, we will start work on conditions and we will try to add a condition to check the creature side. If it is zero, it will walk left, uh, right I mean. And if it is one, it walk left. But for now, let's make him walk uh, right all the time so uh, move one zero save <laughs> uh, this one should be plus this one the thing is it doesn't uh, remove the walk uh, action when I release because I didn't program release yet so when I click once, it will keep walking. The walking should be faster, but um, yeah. Yeah. Does it exit from the edge of the screen or not? Let's see. It should. Yep. And it works. The actual condition system works. Well, not completely. Now we need to make it reset because in the old game we have release working and we have everything else working even though it's in a very horrible uh, code. 
but when I click right and then release my hand on the keyboard it stop and when I go and I release it stop when I jump and release it stop even though he can jump higher because we have something called release now we don't have release because I'm working on the code but look at that all this crap in you know, the whole page and all the crap in this page uh, 100 line and all the crap in the game I and I that's related to the creature to all the creatures actually because we have another creature the, the beholder this one this one as well can have code is replaced with this section this section is for all the creatures and the logic behind it is in this code And it support everything. It support taking the uh, scripts when from uh, the conditions, from uh, unique, from the creatures themselves, and from unique again. So instead of having hard code everything, I just can pick up scripts from the pools and activate them whenever I need. When I request the control, when the set of states like he's on the ground and he's not moving or he's on the ground and he's walking or he's on the ground and he's walking and it, you press jump the combination logic is in here and then this one should check the equipments and check the other things uh, like if you are playing in a game and there's a weather and the weather have effects on all the creatures in the map this and it affect the, the, the animation for them and what happened to them. This is the logic that should handle these changes. And there you go. Clean, standardized code. I, uh, I should be really happy. I should be exploding laughing and things, but I'm really tired and I've been streaming for five hours and... Uh, Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. What do I need to do? We made this. Work on condition. The walker should walk left when he face left or right when oh actually he should walk right if he face right otherwise else he walks left because I don't have else if in my condition I have only else now later on when I start working on different types of conditions I can go to uh, the condition section in the share function so let's go to the share functions class and let's go to the share conditions here I have f uh, uh, f I have if and then and else. I don't want to program else if, to be honest. Um, this is not an interpreter. This is later on. I can add, add switch and select case and choice from Visual Basic. Um, the original, not Visual Basic Net, Visual Basic 6, choice or shoes. I can add different kinds of conditions, not only if. So, uh, switch might be nice. I can add it. 
And we, but first we need to make sure this is working and we need to experience with it. So yes, tomorrow, tomorrow we will make our first general use conditions uh, script and we will test it with this part where I need to make a uh, replace game file from outside. Yeah, I will do that. I will do that. Um, I will add it in a file or somewhere. This is the test fail. This is test fail. So, uh, In the animation, a V act one here. We want to make move conditional. Man, later on I can even uh, use the speed instead of moving with a fixed variable. Yeah, yeah, it depends on the game. Not all games have uh, accelerations, but anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, after that, what's the next step after I do this uh, working? Instead of working with walls, we're going to, uh, we're going to, um, implement action reset. I don't need to use release for walking. As long as I don't press anything, uh, it reset it to idle, which means it removes everything except... No, it removes everything. And the gravity should add on the ground, but it's better to make it reset so it doesn't go through the walls by mistake. So in resets, it should reset with on ground. Does it? But what if, um, oh, it reset with on the ground if he's on the ground and on air if he's on air. Okay, 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 okay. So yeah, yeah, making control is not easy for a game that use general use. Remember, all the logic in other people when they make games with using engines or using code, they do it in the update uh, loop. My uh, my logic is in script. Each creature is different and holds its own scripts and can replace it on the fly. It's a total different story. Well, in my old game, in my old game, the the logic is inside the game I and I. Each creature is hard coded, and I'm I wasn't happy with it, but it was the easiest way to do it. And besides, I was dealing with other issues. I was trying to rush the game as well, and I. I shouldn't give myself too much excuses because it's just part of the evolution of the code for my game engine. It's just a normal thing. You evolve your code and make it better. Yeah. Really, 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 really happy with the uh, results. Uh, uh, when I start working on the new engine uh, two months ago, I felt I will never ever reach to the state. It will take forever. Because in my older uh, part, when I was working on this in 2016, it took me forever to uh, to make data-driven creatures that can uh, work. You I take the data from the file and the game understand it. Anyway, I can keep ranting about... Uh, my hardship in making the game engine uh, till the judgment day so better to cut it loose thank you very much for watching if you reached to this point i don't think any sane person or creature that will watch all of this and see you next time